Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, first off, I want to say thank you so much for all the love. And I honestly wasn't expecting that many subscribers. 64 subscribers in uh, just over 24 hours, 192 views on the first video. Like, honestly, lots of love. Thank you so much. Um, today, we're going to be looking at coordinates to the closest minute. Um, so last time, if you hadn't had a watch through um, to the first video, that will be linked in the description below. Um, and yeah, so today, coordinates with minutes, um, and let's get started. Right, so as you can see, another grid um, to work with today, except the difference between this grid and the last one is that the last one was going up in fives, and this one is going up in ones. So we've got 31, 32, 33, 34, and 28, 29, 30. Now, there's two problems with this. The first problem is that in the last video, we could see whether something was north or south or east or west based on where the equator and the Greenwich meridian is. And this time, we don't have one. There is no equator. There is no Greenwich meridian. In fact, these numbers don't even tell us what direction we're going in. But stress not, there is an easy way to do this. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a very quick compass. Let north, east, south, and west. All right now, the one thing I want you to look at this compass, and I want you to see that there are arrows pointing towards the letter. And this is a way to cheat and know which way we're talking about. So the first thing we can see is that the numbers 31, 32, 33, 34, they're increasing downwards. And the arrow going south is also facing downwards. So all of these numbers are going to be south. The numbers on your longitude are increasing to the right. And the arrow pointing towards the E is also facing right. And therefore, that'll give us our 28 degrees east, 29 degrees east, and our 30 degrees east. Nice and simple. In fact, let's go ahead and add those in. So our latitude will all be south. And our longitude, because the arrow is pointing that way, and the numbers are going that way, they will also be east, east, and east. So the question is, how do we work out these coordinates? We know that there are no other numbers in between. It's not on the 31, it's not on the 32, it's not on the 29, it's not on the 30. We might as well give up and go home. Wrong. Let's actually try and work this out. It actually starts off pretty much the same as it did last time. So the first question is, is A in the north or the south? And A is very much in the south, as we worked out earlier. So leaving a bigger space this time and writing south. And this time is A in the east or the west. And all of our coordinates are east. So we're going to write down east. All right, let's look at our latitude first, because remember, we always look at latitude first. So we're looking at our latitude lines. It's between 31 and 32. Now, there's two ways that you can understand it. The first way you can understand it is that A has passed 31, but hasn't reached 32 yet. And so we would choose 31. But the cheater's way of doing it, and don't tell anyone that we're cheating, you always pick the smaller number. So it doesn't matter that A is closer to 32. We always pick the smaller number. So we're going to write down 31 degrees. But it's not just 31 degrees. It's 31 and something. And if you didn't know this, here's something fun. Between each degree, there are actually 60 minutes. Right? So like in an hour and a clock, there are 60 minutes. So you can imagine between this line and this line, 60 tiny little numbers going all the way down the side, all right? But obviously we're not gonna waste our time and actually do 60 little lines in there. That'll take forever. Um, so what we're gonna do is we are going to do this instead. So we are going to look at this line and we are going to estimate where the middle is. So I'm gonna say, the middle is over there. Now, don't waste your time too much um, actually measuring it and finding the middle unless you really want to. Uh, but I know that in 
my class in grade eight and nine, you are allowed to be three up or three down. So we are just going to estimate. So the middle is over there, which means that this is probably 30 minutes, right? And the minute sign is a little apostrophe like that. So that means that if we go halfway between there and there, so over there, this will be 15 minutes. And between there and there, that will be 45 minutes. All right. So now that we've pretty much estimated where it is we're looking, I'm going to take my ruler. I'm going to take a pencil, especially if we are working in a atlas. Okay, no, I don't have a pencil, do I? Okay, so I'm not going to use a pencil. I'll use a pen. And I'm going to go to the middle of the dot, and I'm going to draw a line going across, just like that. And we can see that it's not on the 45, it's just below the 45. So I'm going to guess that this is 31 degrees and 45, 47, sorry, minutes. All right. Now we're going to do the exact same thing for our longitude. It's between 29 and 30. And like we said earlier, you always pick the smaller number, which is going to be 29. So I'm going to write my 29 degrees. Then we're going to estimate where in the block is halfway. So halfway it looks about there. So I'm going to write my 30. Halfway between there and there is 15. And halfway between there and there is 45. Right. I'm going to take my ruler and a pencil, not a pen. Don't follow my example. Do what I say, not what I do, is what they always say. And we're going to draw our line and we can see that it's actually slap bang in the middle. It lands on the 30 mark. So it is 29 degrees and 30 minutes east. Right, let's do another one. So going to put a little dot, let's put it over there. And we're gonna call this guy B. All right. So first question is B in the north or the south? All of these are south. So we're going to write south. And is it in the east or the west? It's all in east. So we're going to write east. We look at our latitude first, because we always look at latitude first. It is between 32 and 33. But we know that we always write the smaller number, so we are going to write 32 degrees. But it's not just 32 degrees, it's 32 degrees and something minutes. So we're going to estimate, we're going to go to the middle of the block, we're going to say 30, the middle there, 15, and the middle there, 45. Going to take our ruler and my not pencil, go to the center of a dot, and we're going to draw a straight line. And we can see that it's between 30 and 45, but it's much closer to the 45. So I'm going to say it's about, hmm, I'm going to say it's about 42 minutes. All right. Oops, I used the wrong color. That's all right. Okay, then we're going to do our longitude lines. It's between 28 and 29. And even though it's really close to 29, we're still going to write the smaller number. So we're going to write our 28 degrees. We're going to try and measure the bottom. So this looks halfway. That looks like 15. And that looks like 45. Going to take my ruler from the center of the dot, draw a line all the way down. And we can see that it's between 45 and 60. It's closer to 60. So I'm going to say that that looks to me like 58 minutes. And ladies and gentlemen, that is all there is to it. And that is it. Uh, I hope you learned something today. I hope that I was able to help you 
with your coordinates to the closest minute. Um, future video, I'm thinking uh, coordinates to the closest second. Um, might actually even pull some maps out, go over normal coordinates and um, coordinates to the closest minute on an actual map so that you can have a look at how we do it. I mean, it's exactly the same thing, um, but yeah, on a map. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you really enjoyed it, like and subscribe. Uh, don't forget to ring the notification bell <laughs> uh, and all the other YouTube stuff that YouTubers say. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.